Hi, I'm Marnie Schindelman, Associate Professor of Art uh, here at University of Georgia, and I'm really excited to get an Arts Lab Fellowship uh, for this year. It's going to enable me to really finish a project I've been working on or get it to a point where I'll be able to get some larger grants to finish it. So I've been working on a project called Restore the Night Sky, where I've been attempting to photograph the influence um, ICE, privatized ICE detention centers have on our country. So the project started in 2018. I was working in with graduate students in geography here at the University of Georgia. And a geography student took me out to where she had been working at the border, at the one of the ICE detention centers where families were mainly separated. Um, and she started describing to me the process and what I was saying. And so under international law, anyone has the right to apply for asylum in any country that signed the 1951 Refugee Convention, and they have the right to remain there until the authorities have assessed their claim. This was started after World War II, and it's something, what our laws and uh, regulations about refugees are, and that's what all the people in these detention centers are awaiting. They do not need to be held in detention. Many of them are not, but most of them are. As you can see, there's privatized ones across the country. The ones in red are the privatized prisons, which I'm most interested in. And I'm attempting to go and photograph each one of these. So you'll see my map of where I've been so far where I am. But there's a really twisted economy in these. So this is Stort Detention Center in Lumpkin, Georgia, about three hours from us here. And 20% of the, uh, the town of Lumpkin's budget, operating budget, comes from their uh, comes from them housing prisoners, specifically ICE prisoners here at the detention center. So it's a very uh, difficult thing to rapture. And so what I've been photographing is how you can see these sites everywhere. They're hidden, as I say, in plain sight. And the town populations are, you know, sometimes not much bigger than the prison population. This is Irwin County Detention Center in Asilla. So I've been able to photograph while I'm on trips. Um, while I'm giving lectures at places kind of pre-COVID. And now this fellowship is going to enable me to make a much larger trip and to really kind of get another set of photographs done. As you can see here, I'll be classic road tripping up to Memphis. And then there's two in Memphis I can hit or nearby. And then I'll be kind of sliding down Louisiana for about seven to 10 days out photographing every night. So I'll go out and photograph the, um, the night pollution from these centers. And that's what I will be doing with my fellowship this spring. The money is really going directly towards this trip. And the course release is allowing me to have time to work on this project and to then come back and edit the photographs and apply for more grants. So I am super excited. And you're always welcome to follow the project on my website. Thank you.